I want to give a warmly welcome to all of you who decided to listen to the Word of God to meditate the Gospel of the day with me. Today, through Lake Du Divina, we are going to hear the voice of the Lord. We're going to listen to His message so that we can apply it to our lives. I invite you to follow along if you have a Bible, and if you don't have one, wherever you are, listen attentively. Like all good things, let's start in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us invite the Holy Spirit to accompany us and to help us understand the Word of God. Come Holy Spirit. We ask for your presence. Guide us. Show us the way. Show us the truth. Show us the life. Come Holy Spirit. Destroy in us any challenges, any difficulties that we may encounter while listening to the word of the Lord. We ask this in the holy name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Brothers and sisters, I announce you the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke chapter 19 verse 11 through 28 Glory to you O Lord While people were listening to Jesus speak he proceeded to tell a parable because he was near Jerusalem and they thought that the kingdom of God would appear there immediately. So he said, A noble man went off to a distant country to obtain the kingship for himself and then to return. He called ten of his servants and gave them ten gold coins and told them, Engage in trade with these until I return. His fellow citizens, however, despised him and sent a delegation after him to announce, We do not want this man to be our king. But when he returned after obtaining the kingship, he had the servants called to whom he had given the money to learn what they had gained by trading. The first came forward and said, Sir, your gold coin has earned ten additional ones. He replied, Well done, good servant. You have been faithful in this very small matter. Take charge of ten cities. Then the second came and reported, Your gold coin, sir, has earned five more. And to this servant, too, he said, You take charge of five cities. Then the other servant came and said, 
Sir, here is your gold coin. I kept this stored away in a handkerchief, for I was afraid of you, because you are a demanding man. You take up what you did not lay down, and you harvest what you did not plant, he said to him. With your own words I shall condemn you, you wicked servant. You knew I was a demanding man, taking up what I did not lay down and harvesting what I did not plant. Why did you not put my money in a bank? Then on my return, I would have collected it with interest. And to those standing by, he said, Take the gold coin from him and give it to the servant who has ten. But they said to him, Sir, he has ten gold coins. He replied, I tell you to everyone who has, more will be given. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. Now, as for those enemies of mine who do not want me as their king, bring them here and slay them before me. After he has said this, he proceeded on his journey up to Jerusalem. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, today's gospel is longer than usual. But let us delight in the Word of God. Let us taste every word. Let us recognize that it's God Himself speaking to us through His Word. In a couple of moments, I will reread the Gospel. And this time I invite everybody to devour the Word of God. To think, what is a word, phrase, image that comes into your mind? Is there a person or a situation that comes to your heart? And question yourself, how is God speaking to me today? When I finish reading the gospel, I want to invite you to take the time to respond to the Lord, to have a conversation with Him. Feel free to pause the audio, take as much time as you want and need, and continue when you're ready. Let us hear once again the Word of God. While people were listening to Jesus speak, he proceeded to tell a parable because he was near Jerusalem and they thought that the kingdom of God would appear there immediately. So he said, A noble man went off to a distant country to obtain the kingship for himself and then to return. He called ten of his servants and gave them ten gold coins and told them, Engage in trade with these until I return. His fellow citizens, however, despised him and sent a delegation after him to announce, We do not want this man to be our king. But when he returned after obtaining the kingship, he had the servants called to whom he had given the money to learn what they had gained by trading. 
the first came forward and said, Sir, your gold coin has earned ten additional ones. He replied, Well done, good servant. You have been faithful in this very small matter. Take charge of ten cities. Then the second came and reported, Your gold coin, sir, has earned five more. And to this servant, too, he said, You take charge of five cities. Then the other servant came and said, Sir, here is your gold coin. I kept the store away in a handkerchief, for I was afraid of you, because you are a demanding man. You take up what you did not lay down, and you harvest what you did not plant. He said to him, With your own words I shall condemn you, you wicked servant. You knew I was a demanding man, taking up what I did not lay down and harvesting what I did not plant. Why did you not put my money in a bank? Then on my return I would have collected it with interest. And to those standing by he said, Take the gold coin from him and give it to the servant who has ten. But they said to him, Sir, he has ten gold coins. He replied, I tell you, to everyone who has, more will be given. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. Now, as for those enemies of mine who did not want me as their king, bring them here and slay them before me. After he had said this, he proceeded on his journey up to Jerusalem. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen, brothers and sisters. I hope that you took advantage of this time to respond to the Lord, to have a conversation with Him. Remember, if you thought this was a short time, you are welcome to pause the audio and take as much time as you need and want. In this last step of the Lectio Divina, I want to invite everybody to take action. Prayer must lead to action. How is God calling us today to act? Is there a situation, a person in our minds that we need to act upon? What are those hard decisions, difficult ones that we need to take? May we ask the Holy Spirit for His guidance and support to take action today. Let us be courageous, brothers and sisters, and please the Lord today. Let us conclude this meditation with a prayer. I invite you to pray with me. St. Michael the Archangel, Defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits who wander the earth to seek in the ruin of souls. Amen. Warriors of God, guerreros de Dios, let's keep winning battles for our Lord Jesus Christ. Let's be courageous. I want to wish you a good day. See you tomorrow. Blessings.